Hi, we are now at uh, our meeting organization with uh, Kamai. Uh, over here I have here Ms. Ravi. Can you please introduce yourself and, uh, and tell me what you do? Sure, my name is Ravi Myra. I'm the Vice President of, so, of Site Performance Products at, at Akamai. So my group is responsible for the products we sell that speed up the, the B2C websites around the world uh, and provide various services around that. Well, to date, Akamai has been focused on providing a better web user experience for everyone online. And we have a model where we provide that service to the people that run the websites. So our job is to go to people that have large websites, medium-sized websites. We don't really have a service for kind of very small customers. People that are making money off their websites or have some business reasons to be online. Whether it's a B2C site or a B2B web application and providing a performance scale security and intelligence around that site that makes it a better user experience online for anyone to come to So everyone in the world has used optimized technology, at least every internet connection has used optimized technology. Most don't know about it. For one of those under the cover technology solutions that you go to Yahoo, you know you go to Yahoo, but you don't know you even Yahoo. You have a um, uh, antivirus file that kicks off and gets us up that you don't know you're not my, but you are. You watch video of my from ESPN or Star, you know, any type of uh, a or uh, media site. You're pulling the content through Aquaman, video through Aquaman, and getting a better experience for it, but you don't necessarily know that you're doing it. Yes, Akamai has been working on that for about uh, 13 years now, starting in 1998, mm -hmm. uh, and we've been going uh, straight through and uh, helping our customers as we learn. I've been a lot of new business models that come online. Okay, so what do what is Akamai doing next? Um, I'm sure that web uh, web optimization is a good way for we hope so because we felt in the way that uh, certain parts of the web is running in our client, it makes me feel safe because I don't have to wait uh, to, I don't want to wait to avoid the water. Yeah. So, what is it? Yeah, well, there's sort of, I would say, three main thrusts to that, uh, maybe four main thrusts to that. The number one thing is we're going to still continue to work on technologies that make the web faster. We're not going to stop until websites show up instantly. That's our goal in terms of speed. You should be able to click, it's there. And that's not how it works today. We've made sites a lot faster. When I started uh, with Akamai back in 1999, there was an eight second rule of acceptability. Right? Your site had to load within eight seconds or you might have been it. Can you imagine waiting for eight seconds today? In 2006, we did a study with, yeah, I think it was Jupiter at the time, that had gone to four seconds. Now the general will come to see that. I think it was fine, but why not? Instant, why don't you know, put on a thing and up it comes and move your way to the left? Like, this is fastest channel in the magazine, it's too late. We love that, right? Uh, that's our, in our bonus, is getting to work with the So a lot of technology and a lot of development on how you do that. Optimizing protocols, optimizing the front end of websites. Accelerating content that our customer might not be providing, but they're leveraging through third parties. Uh, optimizing for specific devices, getting optimized software components into browsers, into chipsets, uh, so that we can leverage uh, the capability of the device in a different way and optimize for that device uh, is certainly a big question. Recently, over the last you know, two or three years, you've seen us productize a lot of systems around security. So adding to that you know, scale, performance, reliability message that we've had for a long time, how do we secure that? Well, we've been doing this for years for very specific customers, government customers, and some really big companies uh, like the Jaws providers, who you can uh, uh, name them. Um, but we haven't offered it as a solution to most of our customers. We've packaged a lot of that capability together that we've developed for individual customers or individual customers, specific use cases, and are applying it so that anyone can lock down their service, extend their security tier 
away from the origin and build this giant fence around uh, around uh, that, that depends on that. Um, is definitely going to make this. Another one is focusing a lot on the B to D and the cloud environment that's out there. So many people, if you know about Akamai, you know us for the B to C sites that we support. But the web is becoming a big tool for B to D interaction, right? So company to company, or even within your own company, a lot of people are building their applications rather than on, you know, putting them on their own private network and running them internal, putting them online. Um, especially when you're dealing with, with partners, right? Because you want the flexibility to change partner to partner. Uh, so you don't want to be locked into infrastructure that provides a level of QoS, so then you're leveraging the internet. But you can't buy QoS anymore. So Akamai has done a lot of work to say, check the speed up and how provide a level of QoS on the internet for those B2B applications. And as the cloud platforms have started to emerge, how do you do it for a cloud platform? If your infrastructure isn't your infrastructure, how do you accelerate that? Do you use it in the software as or that space or something? Or how do you uh, optimize the performance and the security from uh, that? So a lot of effort that we can do. Yeah. Yeah. And what must be said is because I think there's a lot more that can be built. Yeah, I mean, so Akamai is in this unique position where we have deployed a cloud platform uh, that overlays the internet in a thousand different ways. Uh, if you ever hear an Akamai sales discover on a server, we have a server counts interesting, but not that big. The reach that we're in, the number of countries we're in, the number of individual networks, how close we are to individual things uh, is really enabling us to then provide all these other benefits and services on the cloud. So when you look at where we're going uh, and where you know, what else might come out of this, I think the next big step is going to be there's going to be a change in what the web, what it means to be. Today everything's websites. You, know, you go to a website, a very page based interface, page one, page two, page three, and you go there. Well, that's great in a PC environment. Right? Because a PC is kind of good for pages. You've got keyboard and mouse and things. I see this is good on this, you know, now you go on your iPhone, now you go on your now you go on your television. Well, the way people are, are trying to address it today is they're taking their website and they're kind of stuffing it to fit on that device. It's not a bad strategy in short term, right? Because you get your content available, the more people where they are, that's a good thing. But it may not be the right thing. But ultimately, if I'm on a mobile device, what do I want to do with this company? If I'm on a television, what do I want to do with this company? So I think there's going to be an evolution where people are going to stop thinking about the website and they're going to think about it as just a presence. But the web is a way to connect to someone. The device is the, the physical thing they're connecting with. What do I want to do? What do you want to do as my customer of the website? And how do I make that? Right, so so Akamai is really going to help people do that. Because we, we deliver their websites and we sell their websites and we put back their websites in all these different areas. We optimize for the device that you're on. Anyway, how do we help you maybe work one step farther back and say, well, the web page and show that somebody. What does this person maybe want to do based on how I've worked with them in the past or maybe what else they just did on this device? Right? The device that they're on, the location that they're in, and the fact that they're reaching me at this time. And then provide uh, a more guided experience than just a web. So start with hi, I'm this company. You know, you can search, you can browse, you can. If likely, you wanted to do this. Let me start with that. And what's the best thing? So that is a really exciting time. You know, Thomas has devices, mobile networks, uh, as well as as well as traditional networks. And interesting enough, I think the the uh, the way that the voice recognition technology is starting to mature. And the way that you might connect to that through these devices rather than just the visual. No, no, no. Uh, it's going to make sure we dial these places. How can we really help them? Yeah, I think that is, um, that is enough for this given us a lot of things to think about for our work. For now, I think the. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.